Welcome back to SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness with Patient Advocate Monica. I help sickle cell patients and their network overcome the lack of information and resources by sharing the latest and most updated information and resources. In today's video, I am going to share with you the biggest lesson I learned in 2022. Let's get into the video. The biggest lesson I learned in 2022 was I did not say no to anyone. If someone asked me to do something, I said yes. Yes, I'll do it. Not realizing how much time, energy, and effort everything would take. Monica do it. Monica do it, and I would get a lot of phone calls. I would get a lot of emails from different people, various organizations. And on top of all of this, I'm still doing the things I need to do for SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness. Last year, we had the fifth annual Come Hub with us. We had our first charity golf tournament, and we also did the third annual Let's Game Plan for Sickle Cell. On top of all of that... <laughs> People were still adding things for me to do or asking me to do more things. And looking back in hindsight, some of the things I should have said no to, some projects I joined I should have said no to, and I didn't. And working with the people that I work with in the different organizations that I'm a part of, they know that if it don't get done, Monica will do it. If it don't get done, Monica will do it because that's the type of person that I am. If I want to see something done or something has to be done and I don't see somebody taking the initiative to do it, I'll do it. That's just the type of person I am. And because of a lot of the organizations I am a part of, they became successful or they met whatever the organizational goal was because my goal was to make sure they met their goals. That's just the type of person I am. And it's interesting that um, this, one of my mentors had a long talk with me and, and he's the type of mentor that I love. The thing that I love about this particular mentor is he's always straightforward. He's, he's very transparent and He's a former Marine, if that tell you anything. He's a, he's a former Marine, and um, and I remember calling him about um, a decision that I needed to make. There were several decisions that I needed to make, and I just wanted his input and his advice. And his advice is always the same. Monica, did you get your ROI? I, I, all I want to know is did you get your ROI, which is a return on your investment. Did you get a return in your investment for whatever you're doing, for all of these different organizations that you're working for, for all of these different peoples that you're sharing on social media, for all of these projects that you are a part of, are you benefiting from them? And when I stepped back and I thought about it and I thought about it and I was like, well, hmm, no. He said, the way you support some of these other people and some of these other organizations, do they support you the same way? And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and no, I don't get the same type of support. He said, so you're not getting the ROI, so why are you investing so much time and energy in all of these things and in all of these projects, and you're not getting the ROI? But do what you want to do. Y'all yeah, would say the same thing. Do what you want to do. That's just my advice to you. And um, I said, okay. I said, I understand what you're saying. And um, he said, but something I want you to, to not forget. And when he said, he said it like it was something I didn't know. He said, Monica, he said, I've studied what research, I've, I've studied what sickle cell is. Just dealing with sickle cell by itself. You really can't afford to take on nothing else. He said, dealing with SWG and the things that you already do in the community, you really don't need to take on nothing else. And I thought about what he said, and I said, you're right. You're absolutely right. Needless to say, after this long conversation, yes, 
you're right. Guess what Monica goes and do? People continue to call, continue to text, continue to email, continue to reach out to me. Monica, we need X, Y, and Z done. And we know that you can do it. We know that you have the experience, you have the skills to do it. So Monica being Monica, I said, yes, I'll do it. But what happened in October was unforgettable for me. It was life-changing for me. In mid-October, and it kind of started in the beginning of October, where I felt myself about to crash and burn. And I remember my sister visiting me and she kept saying Monica you don't look right to me Monica you don't look right to me and I was telling my sister I said I'm tired I'm just tired um she visited me that Friday and she said Monica you don't look right so and then that Saturday she visited me she said Monica you, she, you just don't look real to me you you need to do something and then that Sunday she came and visited me and I was like I'm just I'm tired I'm, I'm overwhelmed with so many things and I'm just tired and I'm a part of a lot, a lot of organizations and I'm not the only member of all of these organizations let it seem like I'm the one that's doing all the work or a lot of the work. And um, about that second week, I took time and I stepped back. And I said what I need to do is take some time off. I need to go on my sabbatical. And I remember calling both of my best friends and I was telling them, I am about to do a 10-day sabbatical. And I, I need to take off 10 days. And I need to debrief and get away from everything for 10 days. And um, they said, okay, Monica, okay, Monica. I thought I let them know that I was going to do it. Then I went to my medical team and told all of my doctors. I said, I'm taking these days off. I'm taking 10 days off. I messaged them, text them. I'm taking these days off because I just, I need to rest. I'm tired. I'm not checking emails. I'm not taking phone calls for 10 days. I'm going to turn my phone off and my email had out of office. I think it said until November the 1st. I'll, I'll be gone until November the 1st. So, and my cousin had planned a trip, and it was on time. It, it was, the timing was very perfect because we had planned the trip months ago. I think it was the previous year, and I had forgot about it. I, I had forgot about it, and I didn't think about it, and my cousin called, and she's like, well, Monica, don't forget we're going to the mountains. We're going to Colorado, and we're going to Wyoming, and we, we're going to do these things. And I was like, and she was like, you're not going to tell me no because I know you need a break. I said, okay. I said, and um, I said, okay, not knowing that it was something I was actually going to need. And I didn't know how tired I was until I took those days off. That first day, I slept in all day. I didn't know I was that tired. And I rested. The first two days, I just rested. I rested and I rested. I didn't get out the bed. My mom brought me food and I just rested. And it felt so good. And then the third day, that's when we, I had packed to go to Colorado. I enjoyed being up there. I did learn that sickle cell in the mountains, we don't go together. So I, I rested up there. I, I did more resting up there than I did. So the pictures that are posted on social media, you won't see me in a lot of them because I was in a hotel room rested. I did do some activities, but not all of the activities. So in October, I took off 10 days. In November, I took a week off. In December, I took two weeks off. In January, I took the first week. And the last doctor's appointment I had in December with my primary care physician, I said, I'm going to make you a promise. I said, every month I'm going to take time off. It's not going to be a whole week. It's going to be some days I'm just going to take off. And his usual look, 
over his glasses like, really? That's what you're going to do? I said, yes. He said, and I find that hard to believe, knowing the type of person that you are. I said, no. I said, I'm actually do what I said because October was an eye opening for me and I need to take more breaks. I definitely need to take more breaks and balance everything out. And there are some things and organizations that I am a part of that I am going to resign or I'm going to step down or I'm going to change change my role, but I will be doing less than I have in the past. So that is one of the things that I have to do and I am going to do for my health and for my sake. So the biggest thing that I learned in 2022 was to say no. N-O. If I'm not getting a return on my investment in this person or this organization, the answer is no. If in 2022 you learned a major lesson, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know the lesson that you learned. Also, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell. Until next time, stay hydrated and stay well. Goodbye.